Hello and welcome. I am Lena Dolter, love and dating coach, and today we are talking about how to deal with seeing your ex photographed with someone else on social media. So you, it's happened. It's happened to all of us, right? You're sitting there, you're having a really amazing day, and as you find yourself scrolling through the media, you see your ex or you see someone that you've dated and they're pictured with someone else. And instantly you start to dissect that photo and you're like, oh my God, how happy are they? How long have they been dating? What can I see in this photo that's going to help me feel better or worse about myself, right? Because the instant you start going down that crazy train, and I mean that with all due respect, my, my coach calls it crazy town. The, the second you get on that train of thoughts that are taking you into a story, it's really just like this momentum forward and it's hard to back out of it. So let me share with you my own personal story, something that happened to me this past weekend. Just like you, I got up, it's Saturday morning, I'm feeling amazing, I've meditated, I've connected with myself, I feel great. And then I'm checking my Instagram feed and my comments and two, feet, two photos down I see this guy that I dated and, and people that I know, right? And I was like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> And what I want, so step one is to like notice how you feel, right? So I had two reactions, three actually. One was totally neutral, like just seeing it for what it was, like from my actual centered self. One was a part of me that felt very much like my inner little girl, feeling a little tender, feeling a little sad, just kind of curious and wondering. And the other one was a lot more charged. That part of me was feeling really feisty, really fiery, and on a mission to like show them, right? Like, let's show them how happy I am. Let's show them how great I am. I know you can relate. So Step two, so one, you want to notice what are you feeling and how is it disproportionate to the actual situation? Number two is feel those feelings. So that might sound a little weird, but we tend to not feel what's happening and we tend to like stuff our emotions down and want to rise above the emotions and go straight to feeling good. But what happens is, if you don't feel those emotions of that part of you that needs a little extra love and care, you're going to be leading from that part of you. And it's a needy, uh, sad little place. And it's okay that it exists, but it's your responsibility to nurture and love and take care of that part of you so that you're going out into the world from your centered place, right? And number three is coupled with number two. So when you feel it, you're gonna understand what that part of you needs. Now, this is pretty complex step, but the point of it is, is really like, this part of you is coming up for a reason. It's coming up to be healed. And that part of you that so desperately wants to feel loved, wants to feel accepted, wants to feel noticed, wants to feel chosen, is trying to get those feelings from someone else. So it's your job, it's our job to go inward and connect with that part of ourselves, to communicate with that part of ourselves and understand what that part needs so that you, your centered self, can give that part of you the love, the attention, those uh, affirming words that that part needs to feel safe at all times so that when you go out into the world, you're leading from your center you're not trying to get something from an unhealed part. So this all goes to share with you and, and, and give you the reason why learning how to communicate with yourself, learning how to understand yourself, understand your feelings, and understand the parts of yourself that are communicating with you from your feelings is necessary in becoming the woman who attracts the man who has her back, right? Like step one in being that woman is understanding yourself and communicating. If you don't know how to communicate with you, how can you possibly expect your amazing man to know how to communicate with you? So that is today's help day tip. And I encourage you that if you are a frequent flyer on the crazy train to book a call with me, the link is in my email. And if you are not on my email list, 
just message me inside this YouTube video and I'll make sure you get set up and we can have a dialogue and we can I can help you break through the patterns that are keeping you from the man that you truly want, that soul connected man and getting right within yourself is part of that process. So until next time, lots of love, stay connected to yourself, treat yourself well.